Welcome to my town, St. Augustine, Florida, the nation's oldest city. St. Augustine was founded in 1565 by Don Pedro Menendez de Avilés. This is the entrance to the city, the city gates. This was the only way in and the only way out. It was originally built to protect the city. St. Augustine was a walled city to keep out the invaders. As you walk through the city gates, you can walk down St. George Street in the nation's oldest city. As you walk down the street, you will find over 240 shops and stores. There is something for everyone. Before we continue on here, let me just tell you a little interesting story. Back in the 1870s, there was a man here in St. Augustine, his name, Bishop Burrow. Bishop Burrow became the first Catholic bishop here in St. Augustine to the beautiful St. Augustine Cathedral Church right downtown. Now, Bishop Burrow was a very, very well-loved man. But folks, on a hot June day in 1881, old Bishop Burrow died here in St. Augustine, and we did not have an embalmer here at that time. Now, Bishop Burrow was Catholic, so they were going to have his services at the beautiful St. Augustine Cathedral Church, and he was going to be interned here. But, folks, Bishop Burrow was so well-loved that there were people in Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina that all wanted to journey here to St. Augustine to attend Bishop Burrow's funeral. So how were they going to preserve his body long enough for all these people to arrive here? They tried several things, you know. They dug a hole in the ground, filled a hole with sawdust, put him in a hole. That didn't work. They put him in a hole with the sawdust, then they had an ice shipped in. They poured ice all over him, but it was so hot the ice melted. Well, that didn't work either. But then somebody came up with a clever idea. They said, what we're going to do here is we're going to build an airtight metal coffin. But half the top of the coffin will be made in glass. But before we continue on, let me show you my place to stay here in St. Augustine, the beautiful Ramada Historic. Hi, and welcome to my full-service hotel, the Ramada Historic in St. Augustine, Florida. My name is Camilla Gustafsson, and I'm the general manager of the hotel. I would like to take a few minutes to tell you about our hotel, its location, and what we offer. We are located right in the historic district of St. Augustine, just across the street from Mission of Nombre de Dios, where they held the first Catholic Mess on U.S. soil. This is the birthplace of Christianity in the United States. Ramada Historic Hotel is within walking distance to historical sites, attractions and, of course, to the city gate, where the old town starts with all its shops, restaurants and some of the attractions. We took over the hotel at the end of 2005 and immediately took action and upgraded the hotel to meet Ramada's new and very strict quality standard. As you may know, the franchise chain has decided to become the new shining star on the market and we are proud to be part of that happening. Here are a few things we did to meet Ramada's new quality standard replaced all hard casing, the room furnitures. Brand new beds with new pillows, bed spreads and bed linen. New curved shower rods, shower heads and curtains. Bathroom amenities. Coffee and tea in the rooms. Iron and iron board. Safes in every room. 27 inch TV, electronic door locks, high speed wireless internet is available all over the hotel. 80% of our rooms are non smoking. Further, the hotel has a large pool with a heated spa, a tiki bar that's open during weekends.
After a good night's sleep, everybody needs a good breakfast. Please visit our website and make your reservation online. Our sheriff will now continue his ghost story, but let him first show you some of St. Augustine's historical sites. Welcome to the Fountain of View. Well, this is where it all started right here in 1513 by a man by the name of Don Juan Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon landed here in search of the fabled Fountain of View. Well, he found it here in St. Augustine, folks. And did you know that I'm 128 years old and I drink here every day? Thank you, my dear. Ah. Welcome to one of the most beautiful attractions here in St. Augustine, folks, the Castilla de San Marcos, the old fort. The Castilla de San Marcos was built in 1672 and took 23 years to build, completed in 1695. It was built to keep out the invaders and the pirates that were coming in from the inlet and also from the British that were coming from the north. If you come to St. Augustine, you can take a tour through this beautiful fort and don't forget to stay at the Ramada Historic. Mr. Henry Flagler built this beautiful Ponce de Leon Hotel in the year of 1888. In 1964, it became Flagler College, a liberal arts college. You can see the statue of Henry Flagler at the main entranceway of the college. Now in 1888, Mr. Henry Flagler also built a second hotel right across from his beautiful Ponce de Leon Hotel. It was called the Alcazar Hotel the hotel for the average person that could afford to stay here for $10 a night and get all three meals included. The hotel that you see behind me now is called the Casa Monica Hotel. This hotel was built by Mr. Franklin Smith. Mr. Smith was a very good friend of Mr. Henry Flagler's, but he went broke immediately after finished building the hotel. Mr. Flagler ended up buying the hotel and used it as an overflow to his beautiful Alcazar Hotel by building a skywalk between the two buildings. And now back to the story. Somebody came up with a clever idea. They said, what we're going to do here is, we're going to build an airtight metal coffin. But half the top of the coffin will be made in glass. We'll place Bishop Burrow in the coffin with his hands folded over his chest, the cross around his neck, and people could walk by the church and see him in there. Hey, that will work. That's the ticket. That's what we're going to do. So they built this beautiful airtight metal coffin. Half the top was made in glass. Bishop Burrow was placed inside, his hands folded over his chest, the cross around his neck, and they were having the services at beautiful St. Augustine Cathedral Church. But folks, what happens to a human body when it starts to decompose, it begins building up with gases internally. Bishop Barreau just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger in that metal coffin. And right in the middle of Bishop Barreau's own eulogy, he literally explodes inside the coffin. Blew the glass right out of the top of the coffin. Old Bishop Barreau was out flying all over the place. They said the smell was horrendous. The church was vacated in a heartbeat. But now they got a problem because nobody wants to go back in the church because of that god-awful smell. But two guys did volunteer. They put bandanas around their noses and mouths, so they went back in there and started picking up all the bits and pieces of Bishop Bro, throwing him back in the old metal coffin. They took the broken glass off and used that as a template to make a slab of concrete to go where the glass was. They sealed that coffin up good and tight, brought the coffin back to the cemetery, and ladies and gentlemen, look right at the back of the cemetery because in that little mausoleum at the back of the cemetery today is Bishop Barreau or what's left of him still in his metal coffin and I guarantee you that if you went in there today and you cracked that old coffin open you probably have the same smell they had here in 1881. As you probably already guessed 
I am the sheriff here in St. Augustine, and I'm a ghost here. I was killed here 95 years ago. So if you'd like to hear some more ghost stories and some more tales about this old city, just go to the front desk at the Ramada Historic, buy your tickets, come and join me on one of these ghostly tours, if you dare. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and welcome to my Ramada Historic in St. Augustine, Florida.